Eli 5 y armed turboram jets like those in the SR-71 used for other aircraft? The U.S. military did a study of the Vietnam War, and looked at real combat data from fights with peer-level aircraft, as the Viet Cong got a ton of gear from Russia, including pilots sometimes. They found that after 13,000 engagements, only 20 exceeded Mach 1.6. The rest took place way slower, so the military doesn't need to have the higher speed. It's just added cost and complexity, and we can use that money for things like better tech integration or stealth. Thus, no more turboram jets. They're expensive, a pain in the ass to maintain, and they scratch a niche that's not applicable. Basically there is no demand for such aircraft. It's still too expensive to use as fighter or bomber and for reconnaissance drones and satellites are good enough. Also all modern anti-aircraft solutions are designed to kill fast-moving jet planes while primitive slow drones like those Ukrainians used to blow up a refinery in Russia are extremely hard to hit due to tiny radar and heat signatures. Only reasonable way to practically utilize hypersonic engines would be to skim the boundary of our atmosphere to reduce drag plane would fly almost in vacuum and increase range this way. But you'd need a scramjet for that. Such engines are in development and testing but so far at least publicly those are only considered for missiles.